Assalamu alaikum everyone. On the 13th of June, Crafty Norman held their summer craft fair. And if you follow me on my blog, then you know uh, that I have participated several times in Crafty Norman. Crafty Norman is an online community on Facebook which targets and supports the handmade community in the Sultanate of Oman. Um, I took part in this particular uh, summer craft fair, which I really love the experience. However, I am not going to talk about my experience um, in this video, but I wanted to highlight some of the other um, businesses that I found and that I met, and I actually bought some of their stuff, and I wanted this video to be about them. Because to me, that's how we grow together. It's no point in me always talking about my products and what I do, but also highlight what others do and give them the push that they need to know that they are doing wonderfully and that you should just continue doing what they're doing, and especially if it's doing something they love. However, if you are interested in reading my previous um, participations with Crafty Norman, then I will put a link down below to the various posts I've done um, in the past on my blog. Let's get to it. For starters, I'd like to talk about Mesa's. Mesa is an Armani girl that sells clutches and handbags and I think other accessories. However, I actually met Mesa not in the last craft fair, the one before last, where I wasn't participating, I was just there. And I fell in love with her products. This is made from a sedu fabric, which is which we commonly find um, used in Arabic majlises and all around the Gulf. But anyway, um, she decided to use this kind of fabric as her um, main fabric for all her products. And this is a bag with long straps and there's a tassel here, which I like. And it has some pearly um, decorative on the bag. And there is this kind of silver embellishment inside it's there's a magnetic snap inside is all black and there is a, uh, a pocket which you can't see because it's black i remember making um a sedu bag myself and i think i gave it away because somebody liked it so much i know what you're thinking okay maya why are you buying a bag when you can actually make a bag because i want to support the handmade community um, i can make it that's true but if someone else is making it and they're doing it out of passion, I mean, what, what's wrong in buying the bag? I know there are some people that won't buy, for example, if the jewelry designer, they won't buy other jewelry because they can make their own jewelry. Okay, fine, but this is who I am. I like to share and I like to, um, you know, if you're going to rise up, then you might as well bring people along with you because being alone at the top is not so fun. Now is it? Okay, the next product I'd like to talk about is my ring. My ring is designed by an Armani designer called Naima El Maimani. Um, you can't see it from here, and if I bring it closer to the camera, it won't focus. Um, so I will put a picture up so you can see what it, a close-up of it. Now this ring, if you probably find this funny, but when I first saw the ring, I just instantly fell in love with it. I liked the way it was shaped, and I could instantly tell that there was the name um, Allah written in the ring. But I couldn't figure out much of what the whole thing was about. What, what, what was the ring saying? I couldn't make out because it was written in a descriptive way, so I couldn't really tell. I bought the ring. And then I kept asking my friends, do you know what this ring says? Because I can't really figure out. I thought it was very silly of me to wear something and I really didn't know what it meant. So I contacted, I contacted the designer and when she told me what it meant, this ring instantly meant much more to me. I fell in love with it even more because if you follow me on Instagram, um, you probably know that I'm also about inspiring others and you have the videos that I make, um, the Wealth of My Eyes series, where I talk about inspiring yourself and not giving up and having hope. And this ring basically says, means that if a door closes, then Allah opens a thousand doors. So the meaning is just, it just touched home and this ring has become a staple in my 
jewelry, especially if I'm wearing silver, this ring will come with me. Um, and to know that it's uh, designed by an Armani designer means even more. Um, I will have pictures and links to all the products that I talk about in my blog, so make sure to check that out after the video. I'm not really sure if they will ship international, you will have to contact them if you are interested in buying one of their products because they're all based in Oman. I know I have a lot of you who are not Omanis and are not in Oman, but um, who might be interested in buying these products and you, as I said, you need to contact them to find out if they do ship international. Another product I bought is an Argan Natural Face Cream. And this is um, by a company called UNESCO Sarman, which is supported or started by Saba Al Musaidi, who is um, an Armani woman. Now, this says it's a homemade cream. Ingredients are processed using only 100% pure natural oils for maximum efficiency. Um, she has various products and she stocks um, mainly creams and oils. Um, she claims to be 100% uh, natural or uses a lot of natural products um, in her products. Um, I have yet to try this cream. I bought it because Seba says this is like her staple um, cream and I believe her. I don't think she's just trying to sell a product. She actually likes to, a bit like me, likes to share um, her views and wants to share the goodness. So I can't wait to try this cream. Thank you Seba so much for um, providing us with such great quality products. Next thing I'll talk about is, I'll take it out of the pouch, Noor Silets. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, so Noor Silets um, is a company, or home-based company that actually does bracelets and the owner is called Noor. So Noor Stelets bracelets. I mean Noor bracelets equals Noor Stelets. So she makes bracelets and they're beautiful and they're very affordable. Um, I actually love, love this one and this is the only one I bought. However, there were so many others I wanted to buy but I also wanted to buy other things so I had to limit myself to one. I have already contacted Noor and told her that I want to order more so Noor, I'll be calling you very soon. Um, again, she's, you know, I absolutely love this handmade community and I love that they're Armani. I support as well the expatriates, which actually my next item is from an expatriate in living in Oman. Her name is Bike and she makes earrings. Now her company is called Timeless Treasures and I bought earrings from her before. Again, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a bronzy that studs and she makes them on her own and she makes really hoop earrings as well which I love and um, although this is not pure silver but they don't irritate my ears. It's, I have very sensitive ears and if something is not like pure silver or pure gold then my ears get irritated but they don't with her products so I absolutely love them and these are super cute. And yes, even though I'm not covered, I do wear earrings when I uncover at home. Yeah, In case people are wondering, I do have ears because I get really weird comments. Anyway. Moving on to body scrub. Now you will all know, or most of you will know who um, this is by. This is made by my best friend, Sophia Al Musaidi. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I will link a video up here showing you the best friend tag I did with her last year, or a couple, yeah, last year. And so Sophia's, <clears throat> this was her first, um, table at a craft fair and she sells all kinds of scrubs this one I have is the green tea scrub which I used day before yesterday and it is so good unlike other scrubs this one is a dry consistency and usually scrubs or the scrubs I make have oils mixed in them and stuff but this is dry so you wet your um, your body and then you take this and you scrub it on your body and it smells really nice. It's, she puts, if I remember correctly, she said she has green tea in it and she has uh, lemongrass. So it smells really nice. I feel like eating it. 
Um, so yeah, Sophia, I'm very proud of you. Continue doing this. Your scrubs are amazing, and I can't wait to try the other scents you have. Moving on to another scrub. This is from Natural. I think I pronounced it correctly. Oops. Natural is again, I think, another company that does scrubs, and they are specializing in coffee scrubs. They have different kind of coffees. I think there was French coffee. There was and the Amani Qahwa, which is what this is. And I like the packaging and the description tags that they have. This says, I'll feed your skin, I'll fade your stretch marks, I'll target your cellulite, I'll leave you feeling smoother than a baby's bum. I'm a homemade, all-natural moisturizing scrub. I'm the solution to ingrown hairs. You can call me the Najra. So, I really love that. I find it so funny. And then it says, Direction. Wash with warm water for a few minutes, then scrub in circular motions and rinse off. Ah, for the face it says, scrub very gently, imagine that you are a peach. <laughs> and then it says, ingredients, Armani coffee, virgin coconut oil, qariyat sea salt, organic brown sugar, and cardamom. Does not contain preservatives, preservatives, petroleum, sodium laurel, or lauryl sulfates, parabens, or... I can't even pronounce the last word, so I won't even try. But anyway... Um, I haven't tried this yet, but what I love about this is that you can use it on the face. And you know how I love my natural um, products, so can't wait to try this. And this was a small size, they sell them in bigger size as well, so I decided to try the small one. Uh, last but not least, I am going to talk about MJ, not Michael Jackson. Muhammad Al Jahlami. Yep. <laughs> Muhammad Al Jahlami is an Armani, uh, a young Armani man who recently started launching his products. Now, what I'm holding here is a notebook. I love this one. I love that he has different things. This one says, "I'm fabulous," and this is from his floral ugh, from his floral collection. That's much better. This is, there's a mug inside, I just want to show you the packaging. It says, specially designed for you, with a bunch of love. The mug, here's the close-up of the mug, and it says, the secret, don't stop. I love, love, love this. Um, because we all know what the secret is. The secret is to never give up, the secret is to not stop and eventually you will achieve your goals. Just don't stop trying. And then it says, proudly made in Arman. Yeah, so, so proud of him. Uh, so I bought this um, to, from him at the craft fair, but I also noticed he had phone covers, so I made, I ordered my own phone cover. And this is, <clears throat> I've posted this on Instagram, but just in case you haven't seen it, it says, in Arabic, Umaniya, Mundu Elf Ta'mi Wahid Thamanin means uh, Umani, and then since 1981, which is basically the year I was born, if you're still wondering how old I am, that should give you a big clue. And since um, he had this in different colors, I decided to go with the colors of the Armani flag, which is red, white, and green, since I am talking about my identity. So I absolutely love this. And this again is from um, MJ. Again, um, all my products that I talk about, no, all my products, all the products that I talked about are going to be uh, on my blog post with pictures and details on how you can get uh, hands on them if you are interested. I can't stress the importance of supporting Handmade because you help someone achieve their dream. How absolutely fabulous it is to be part of their dream and part of them helping reach whatever they want to reach thank you so much for watching i shall see you all in my next video inshallah which i promise you is very soon um so yeah take care until then